All right, let's start with uh, what setup we've got here. This is, uh, once again, the Gigabyte H310M S2P motherboard. We've got it outside of the case. Um, we are going to update the BIOS. I've got for a CPU the i3-9100F, and if you watch the other video, you see that I am able to boot two BIOS with this CPU in the socket, okay? So, uh, unlike a lot of CPUs out there, we can get away with uh, not buying an HN CPU here to update the BIOS. Now, this has F3 for BIOS, which is uh, back before they even started talking about 9th gen. So we want to go ahead and update that to make sure this is running smoothly. Uh, not completely necessary though, folks. If you feel like your computer's running good, then you don't necessarily have to do that. I've just temporarily got that M.2 NVMe in there. You see that uh, it's not screwed down. You don't want to really leave it like I have it, but uh, at least in temporary like this is, we should be good. So let's go through and uh, double check stuff. So things you need to make sure you have uh, set up in here. We, we need to have RAM. We need to make sure that it's the right RAM and that uh, they are in good working condition. If you have bad RAM, you may not get uh, your computer to boot up. You need your 24 pin power connected. You need your uh, 12 volt CPU connectors there. And in this case, this motherboard has two four pins. You need to ensure that uh, for an F processor that you actually have a video card in there and then it's seated correctly. You need to make sure that the HDMI connector is connected. You need to make sure that you've done this correctly. And if you're not so sure about these connectors, check out my video. I specifically go over how to connect those properly. Now, if you have a different graphics card that's a little more powerful, you might want to make sure that these guys are connected. Well, you need to actually make sure they're connected. What you don't need connected right off the bat, though, you don't need your USB 3.0s. You don't need the audio connector, so they are sitting on the side. All right, so now we're going to follow our power supply over. It's plugged in there, but guess what? Not plugged in here. Computer's not going to work without some power. So we're going to go ahead and get that going. And then fire in a hole. So this already has the operating system on it. And uh, you know what? We got to uh, start hitting delete on the keyboard. And then it should go into BIOS. All right, folks, one other thing you want to do is make sure you have your mouse and your keyboard uh, plugged in. So we did not do that. Um, at this point, I would put my USB thumb drive in there that has the operating system on it. But um, it actually is a, also a recovery thumb drive. So if I put that in there. It's going to ask me to uh, boot to um, basically reinstall Windows. So we don't want that to happen. All right, so in a moment, we will uh, get this going. All right, so I'm jamming on that delete button. And voila, we are in the BIOS. And we're going to switch over to the other camera, hopefully. All right, so um, we've got it framed correctly. Now we need to grab our thumb drive. Have it right here. We're going to plug it in. Okay, so we booted um, into the BIOS and basically what you're going to do is go down to the bottom right here. You want to go to QFlash, okay, QFlash, and we want to update the BIOS. Now one thing you could have done on that other screen is uh, save your BIOS if you have a working BIOS, but the mere fact that um, what you need to know is what the old version of the BIOS was, okay, F3, because you can... For the most part get the old BIOS uh, from Gigabyte. Sometimes though um, if it's F1 or F2 they'll make it where you can't update to the old BIOSes so just so you know. But in here we're gonna go down and select our thumb drive which is by Adida. We're gonna select on the folder that has this in here and over here is our BIOS, we're going to click over to the right, 
and then you could do fast but we want to make sure we do intact and from this point you do not want to mess with the computer at all and definitely do not do this during a thunderstorm so I'll be back in a few moments all right folks so it has gone um, basically did the update and we're gonna log in now All right, we're logging in. So I'm going to show you two places where you can verify your BIOS took. One sysinfo. Okay, that is not sysinfo. Fortunately, the monitor is, uh, there it is, not displaying at the proper resolution. So you'll see in here, there's our motherboard, there is our i3-9100F processor, and there is the F13 revision 65 2019. Now let me show you the other place. So we're going to go into the BIOS, just so you can see it in there. And I have this fly that got into the basement that drive me nuts. So there you go. There is your H310M S2P revision F13, that same info. And let me zoom out a little bit further so you can see all that. And just so you can see it, um, Sorry, we go back to easy mode. Here's the other place you can see it, along with the processor. So that's all for now, folks. Hope you uh, got something out of the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.